Good afternoon then year five and welcome to today's English lesson. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is we are again focusing on the book Odysseus and his adventures and what we're going to do is we're going to map events into a story. Um, so what we're going to look at first is we're going to try and recap our the, the events of the story that have happened so far in the book. So obviously you've done your storyboard in the last lesson so you can use that to refer back to in this lesson absolutely. Um, and that will help you when we create our map, but we'll go into more detail that in a bit. So first of all, can you remember all of the places that Odysseus's crew then travelled to? So use the storyboard that you made in that previous lesson that I mentioned a minute ago to help you. So have a think of all the places that Odysseus went to. So where did he start and where did he go after that? OK, and I'm going to drop them down on this right hand side just to help you remind you. So here we've got, obviously he starts at Odysseus's home in Ithaca, that's where he starts off. And then they head over to this island where they see the Cyclops. I've just called it the Cyclops Island, just to make it a bit easier. They then go from there, they manage to escape, get to King Aelos's castle where they got the Sack of Wind. This Sack of Wind then, they took this and they opened the Sack of Wind on their way out of King Aelos's castle to try and get back to Ithaca. And... Poseidon then disrupted them on the way. So they ended up at the island of where Cirque was. So this is where all the crewmates then got turned into pigs and Odysseus had to save them. And so they then went to the land of the dead to visit Tiresias, like Cirque told them. So they headed to the land of the dead and they got what they needed from there. And then they headed back on their journey trying to get back home. And of course, they came across the six headed dragon and the whirlpool. They lost some more of their crewmates there. And they ended up upon Hyperion's island, you know, the sun god. Um, and this is where Odysseus told his crew not to eat any of the cattle. Uh, and yet they did. And then they all later died. And Odysseus was all on his own. And that's how he got to Calypso's island, where he was there for seven whole years because Calypso was in love with him. But he was loyal to his wife, Penelope, back home. And so eventually he did manage to get his way all the way back to the beginning, back to his home in Ithaca. So what you're going to do today is you're going to be creating your own map to show Odysseus' journey. So you're pretty much going to be drawing a map showing all the events that happen throughout the story. OK, so you can either do this on the computer if you can or drawing into your book. OK, so it is quite difficult to do on the computer. It will be um, a lot more of a challenge. But if you want to give it a go, then you can. That's absolutely fine. If not doing it in your books absolutely fine then you can send it like i've shown you before attach it um onto your google document and then upload it that way instead of doing it uh or take a picture of it and upload it instead of sending it as an email obviously if you can't do that then just send it as an email instead for me so if you're still a bit confused don't worry i'm going to go through it so as you can see on this map here on the right hand side we've got obviously the map of the united kingdom so here for example it's used big ben to represent London, okay, because that's a big part of, uh, you know, England. So it shows uh, the major cities by doing a drawing to represent those major cities. And that's exactly what I want you to do in your books as well, in your maps. So here I've kind of done a little map kind of thing. So yours will look a lot better than this, okay. So what I've done, I've put out my main places where they all travel to, okay. So I've got um, Ithaca, where his homeland is, Cyclops Island, King Aelos, Cirque, Land of the Dead, Hyperion Island, and Calypso. I've just named them quite briefly. Yours will be in a lot more detail. You'll have some pretty little drawings, okay, for each of yours. So you'll have you'll draw your own island. You might want to draw a house for Ithaca, because that's where he started. That's his home. And then, obviously, from Ithaca, he went then to Cyclops Island. And so for here, you might want to draw another island and then draw a Cyclops on it to show that that's the Cyclops Island. Um, he then obviously travelled from here and they got to King Aelos' castle. So you might want to draw a castle here or maybe a crown or something to represent that. And of course, all of the while, these arrows show he has travelled through the sea. OK, so it's important. You might want to draw the sea in the background, maybe some waves to show that it's the sea. Um, obviously, when he uh, they get attacked by the six-headed dragon later on and the whirlpool you could draw them into your seat in the background to show that that's what they went through as well so from king Aelos to Cirque, there's the next place that they went and of course during that travel that's when poseidon disrupted their travel so it didn't take them home but to Cirque instead 
So you might want to draw maybe Poseidon God in the middle of the sea here, disrupting their travel. They then obviously went to the land of the dead, so you might want to draw Pyrethes here. For the Cirque, you might want to draw some pigs to show that they, this is where the crew got changed to pigs. Land of the dead, you might want to draw some like zombie kind of thing, be a bit creative with that. And then, of course, next, as we mentioned before, they ended up, uh, they got to this Hyperion Island, and between there, that is where they got attacked by that dragon and the whirlpool. So you can maybe draw that in your sea there. And eventually, all the crewmates then died at Hyperion, so you might want to do like a sort of sun and, uh, skull and crossbones or something. Or you might want to do something about the cows, you might want to do some cattle. Yeah, there was obviously a big storm, so you could do the storm in the sea here as they got to Calypso, because that's when all the crewmates died. And then he was here for seven long years before, uh, with Calypso. So you might want to draw like a love heart because she was in love with her. Some ideas like that. You can be creative as you want. And then eventually, of course, he did get back home to Ithaca. So this is what you're basically going to be doing then year five. You're going to be drawing your own map, including these uh, seven main places that Odysseus went to. So the aim of this, guys, is you're going to be drawing a map that shows Odysseus's journey all the way around the world. Now, your different islands could be in completely different places. They don't have to be in the same places that mine are, okay? I've just done mine in a random order. You do, do yours in whatever order you like, that's fine. As long as it shows the journey that Odysseus has been on, okay? That's the idea. You're just showing that you can understand the journey that Odysseus is, has been on from Ithaca all the way until he gets back home, okay? So you're just showing me that you know where he's been and what's happened throughout the story. Okay, if you've got any questions, again, guys, please feel free to get in contact with me if you're struggling with it. Honestly, not that difficult. You're just having a bit of a draw, recapping the story a bit more so we can remember it for our next lessons this week. Um, and, yeah, be creative, enjoy it a bit, imaginative as well, please. All right, thank you very much, then, Year 5. I'll see you later for a live lesson.